Eagles took a 14-10 lead over Washington last night. Then it was all downhill for Philly after that. After a failed fourth and goal attempt, Doug Peterson yanked Jalen Hurts for Nate Sudfeld, who turned it over twice and finished with just 32 passing yards on 5 of 12 passing. Peterson said after the game that he was, quote, coaching to win. That is what he said. Shannon, uh, what was Doug Peterson thinking? I have no idea. Skip, I don't even know how Doug, Doug Peterson stood up in the locker room after the game and looked his team in the eye and said, I tried to win that game. Skip, it's fourth and goal. You kick the field goal, you got a tie ball game. Okay, now we play football. You go for it on fourth and goal and, and pass up a chip shot field goal, and then you take Jalen Hurts out? Now, maybe you've seen enough of that. Maybe you have a big enough evaluation of Jalen Hurts. you like, he's our quarterback moving forward. But I don't know how you come to that conclusion, Skip, because he was, again, he, he throwing the ball, he was not very good last night. He was 7 to 20, 72 yards, got sacked once. He had a 25 court, uh, quarterback rating of 25. Come on, what is this? Skip, what, what the hell is that? Mm. Maybe that's why, maybe my, well, that's why, no, oh. that's why Jim Schwartz probably retired. Like, I don't want to be a part of this. Mm. He's like, hold on, wait a minute. Jim Schwartz said, ain't no hat and t-shirts, which means, Kim, ain't nobody going to be celebrating on my team. And he got, oh, no Fletcher Cox. Oh, no this guy. Oh, no that guy. Mm. And no Alshon, no d Jack, mm. no Miles Sanders. Mm. What the hell? Mm. And you going to say you actually trying to win the game. Come on, Skip. I guess, look, I, I get it. And, J and uh, Jason Kelsey said last week, Winning games should trump any player evaluation. Skip, I'm trying he, to win. He said it again after the game last. Yeah, time. Skip. And for me, look, I, I've been on some, I've been on some teams that wasn't, that wasn't very good. I didn't make the playoffs every year. So, people, I want you to think that I made the playoffs every year. But Skip, I'm giving it everything I got. You evaluate me on what I'm, how I'm playing. Don't take me out just because of some bull job. I don't know what the hell, Dougie P. But it's for me. If I'm Jeffrey Lewis, Dougie P is not coming back as my head coach. There's no way I can bring him back into this situation. There's no way. The, team, the players are not going to look at him the same, Skip. When you do that, Jalen Hurst will look at that like, what the heck? Huh? I'm out for what? Skip, the man is just getting started. This is what, these are the type of games you want to see a young player and really evaluate him in. And you take him out for what? Skip, I don't know what this was about. I get it. You don't like the Cowboys. Once the Cowboys had lost, okay, now, hey, let's play football. And then you do this. You take Jalen Hurts out, and you pass up a field goal. Skip, I don't know what the hell was going on, but this is, this is they, need to, they need to go ahead and clean house. Mm -hmm. Now, we already know Peterson and, and, and Wentz, I don't see how they come back together, and I said that when he made that move. But I don't know what the hell Dougie P did with this, but they said he has a meeting. I heard Sal Palantonio, I heard some other people say he has a meeting with the owner, Jeffrey Lurie, now today, tomorrow. And if I'm Jeffrey Lurie, I got my feet up on the desk when he coming in, and I'm going to ask him, Doug, what the hell was that you did on Sunday night? Because y'all need some explanation. Mm. Go ahead. Done? Yeah. <clears throat> if I'd been Jeffrey Lurie last <laughs> night, you'd have fired him after the game? I would have marched down from the empty press box. <laughs> <clears throat> I would have gone to the locker room. I, I would have looked in at him and said, could you come out here for a second, please? And I would have said, you are done as my coach. <laughs> Unless you can convince me Jeffrey Lurie was in cahoots with Doug Peterson. Right. And that they had conspired before the game to basically, quote unquote, fix the game so that they would lose and drop from the ninth pick in the draft Jeez. to the sixth pick in the draft. Right. If you can tell me that, you got me. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure that's what happened. He, said he, won he wanted to evaluate Nick Suffield. Give the guy's 27 years old, four years in the league, a six-round pick. A value Nate. what? Nate, excuse me. Yeah. Nate Suffield. It's okay. He can be Nick or Nate. <laughs> it doesn't matter. Because he's Dudfeld. <laughs> it was shameful what happened in the fourth quarter. It was hard to watch. It 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 stained the integrity of the National Football League. What would the car because I can't, I didn't hear the sound. What would the commentators say? What would uh, uh, Collinsworth and Michael say? They were trying to be nice about it, but in general, they were scratching their heads. Verbally, by, <laughs> by what they didn't say, they were scratching their heads. Okay. But they did say that in their production meetings with Dougie P, that he had brought up that I do want to play Sudfeld at some point in the game. And they thought a series here, a series there, maybe. Right. But to give him the whole fourth quarter when you had a little chip shot field goal to tie it after three quarters. 
And I couldn't understand that sequence because Jalen Hurts got you down to first and goal to five. Mm -hmm. You ran Clement one time, and I don't know where he came from. He just sort of came in the game all of a sudden. Yeah. And they ran him for a yard. And then what does Jalen Hurts do best? He, he runs. Scramble the, by time. Yeah. yeah. And and he runs. That's his first two touchdowns. The read option. Yes. He, he, he does something with his legs to create arm. Yes. And instead, you're, you're asking him to do what's hard down there at the four-yard line because the end zone's so tight is as a rookie quarterback with half your weapons out for the game, as you pointed out, yes. Alshon's not there anymore. Ertz looks like he's playing half speed. I don't right. know what he's doing. Oh, good Dallas got it. They, they, they scratched Dallas they, they got it, They scratched him. So you don't have your red zone targets to speak of. Deshaun didn't play. I don't know what that was about. I, I don't know what any of it's about, but obviously Jalen had Bostic in his face on the fourth down throw. Right. And he didn't get enough mustard on the ball, but he's throwing to Quez Watkins. That's who he's throwing to. <laughs> yeah. that, that's what you got left with. And I'm saying, what are you doing? This is a man who, with his backup quarterback, Nick Foles, hung 41 on Bill Belichick's defense without Malcolm Butler. Don't know what that was about. And this is a man who wrote a book that offseason called Fearless. Well, I'll give you that was fearless what he did last night. That's like, I don't care what anybody thinks of me, but that was nutty fearless to me. <laughs> that was like crackpot fearless where I'm saying, what, what are you thinking? What are you trying to prove? Are you just trying to be different for different charge and you'll play Nate Sudfeld if you want because you think he's a fine young man and he practices hard and he's been with you for four years? That's how it came across. Now, let's get back to Jalen Hurts. I believe Jalen Hurts would have won that game because I've seen him win a lot of games like that. When you least expect it, he'll make another play. And then a right. play here and a play there. That's what he does. But if we could see, you, you've blasted him for his throwing. L let's look at three plays if we could. Let's look at the first interception by Curl. If we could see this. This is to Ertz. And if we could see what happened before that play, he just tackles Ertz and hangs on to him. He just... Is that not pass interference? I mean, he just grabbed him and held on to him off his route. And He's giving him five it. yards, Kim. Yeah. You okay. got to, he, no, he can you do can't that to hang five on yards. Like that. You, can, you can bump him once, but you can't grab him and hold on to okay, him. Okay, it's five yards. Okay. So, again. Okay, I'll give you that one. Okay, I'll give you he, that one. He couldn't even turn his head, and the ball's gone, and into curls. Curls just stand there like, oh, right. thank you. Mm -hmm. And then let's go to the next one to Jalen Rager, who then also got hurt and was gone after the first quarter. With 153 left in the first quarter, tell me this shouldn't have been caught. It absolutely oh, should have been thank caught. Thank you. That's a sweet throw and should have been mm -hmm. a, a pretty routine catch by yep. your rookie that you took pretty high in the draft to, to the shock of a lot of people. Passed on Justin you Jefferson. You did. You passed on him. But you got to catch that. And then I don't know if he got hurt on that play, but he was gone for the rest of the game. Yep. Okay. So we got that one. And then... There's another one to Quez Watkins that, that looks like it's going to be housed. He's got him where he rolls right and throws back. And look at the lane he's got right here, and he hits him right in the hands. Look at the lane. Yeah. If he hits that and goes, I, he might split him well, and be yeah, gone. You keep saying that. I'm asking, okay, what raffle did number 80 win to get an Eagles uniform to go play receiver? I don't know. I, Skip, I've never seen this dude. I don't know. And then you see our Stego White know. side. I don't know. Skip, we hadn't mentioned Wait, our Stego White side played. all year. He hasn't played all year, and he actually made a couple plays. Yes. Okay, so there are those th three plays I showed you. And then mid-second quarter, if we could hear, I know you got the sound down, so I'm going to let you hear what Chris Collinsworth <laughs> did have to say about Jalen Hurts. Okay. This is about halfway through the second quarter of this game last night. Jalen Hurts really is starting to impress me more and more as a passer. He does a pretty decent job of putting the ball into money when he has a chance to set his feet. Okay, that's Chris Collinsworth. Mm -hmm. He hasn't seen a lot of Jalen Hurts, so he's saying what I've been trying to say all along. He throws it pretty well. But, Skip, if you want to evaluate, shouldn't you have left him in so you can get a yes. part? Yes. Chris says, especially well, in a game like this, thank this you, is for the thank money. You, you want to evaluate Nick Suffield, Nate Suffield, he ain't going to play? No. And, and look, so what can Jalen do behind a line that you've told me all year? Decimated. Get right? out of harm's they're, way. They're down to, like, third stringers except for Kelsey. Skip, except for and you Kelsey. see what they, the right tackle that they started, they ended up taking him out and putting him back up. I thought, hold on. You already down to your fourth. You put your fourth tackle in there. Scott said, man, y'all, y'all, man, if, if I'm Roger Goodell, I'm calling him. I'm saying, if you ever in this league again, 
because hopefully Mr. Lurie fire you. But if you ever do some mess like that, Skip, Skip, that was ridiculous. That was ridiculous, Skip. It, it, it's just impossible. It, then I also thought of this. If, if Lurie had already apprised Doug Peterson, you're coaching your last game tonight, was he just trying to stick it to Lurie? Like, like I'm just going to do outrageous things just to make you look no, bad? You, 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 might, you might think about that, Skip, but, I mean, obviously, it's just like when players get evaluated.